Hey everybody, welcome back to the anvil. Today we're gonna to be talking about doom and gloom, you know, World War III, that kind of stuff, the old Biden administration, giving the okay to send Ukraine some more weapons to send over to Russia. They actually did. <clears throat> I, went and, I went ahead and took a Ukrainian news report and translated it, and I'm gonna read you a little bit of the propaganda that's going on in Ukraine. And we're going to talk a little bit about uh, stuff that's been t said here in the United States in the last day or so. Let me just catch you up on what's going on because it's easy to get lax. You know, if you're not prepping, well, the best time was 20 years ago. Second best time is right now. But these ATACMS, all right, we're going to call them bombs. <laughs> these 13 foot, 24 inch in diameter missiles that can be uh, fly up to 190 miles are being put to use. They're made here in the United States. Russia doesn't like that very much. He sent a signal to the United States that said, hey, uh, I think, let me just read it to you. Russia responded by changing its nuclear weapons policy stating it may use nukes if conventional weapons are used against them. Putin might be a lot of things, but he's a pretty good leader and people take him seriously. I haven't known him to bluff too much. This is very strange to be happening, but it doesn't seem like it's happening. Everything seems fine here. It's always like that though. Everything's fine until it's not, and then you're scrambling. So think about that. Oh, on this, I also have printed about Goldman Sachs. They published a report recommending buying oil, despite the volatility, and buying gold. And the quote was, just buy gold. Like, just buy gold. Goldman Sachs is saying that. Now, normally that means it's going to go down a little bit. <laughs> but we are going into some type of rumor of war or war. I'm not sure what it is yet. Uh, the Biden administration will do whatever it takes to stay in power. They have to. They, uh, this is plan B, maybe, you know, and if this doesn't work, there'll be a plan C. They're in some, some deep stuff. Trump is, I believe, he's going to do his best to drain the swamp. And P. Diddy, the island, all that stuff is real hush-hush right now. But when Trump gets in there, maybe, maybe just one time in my adult life, people will be held accountable for their demonic and weird things they do. And all, all the corrupt stuff that happens, that would be awesome, okay? If you're interested in buying gold, silver, get Stacy's price list. 318-564-5823. That's her number. You can text her your email, get the price list, shop around, talk to her, get set up, price tips. Hey, Stacy, lock me in. Okay, it's done. Delivered to your door. Now, here's the story from Ukraine. Here's the translation. Ukraine, for the first time, struck ATACMS, just going to call them missiles, on the territory of Russia. The defense forces of Ukraine, for the first time, they say the same thing over, and this is hard to read, by the way. This was reported by the RBC in Ukraine by an informed source. Who knows? According to him, the strike hit a military facility in the area of the city of Kachev. Indeed, for the first time, it happened, blah, blah, blah. It was a successful hit. i got to go faster because this is boring. It should be noted that Kachiv is located about 130, mile, uh, sorry, 130 kilometers from the border of Ukraine. So they're, they're getting out there. What is known about the hit? In the night of November 19th, uh, a main missile artillery declarate of the Russian Defense Ministry was attacked. Powerful fires were seen on social networks. This strike has been reported on both sides. Russia says it happened. 
in Ukraine says it happened. That doesn't mean it happened. But, you know, there's, you know, we're, this is escalation. This warehouse has been hit before. In October, it was attacked by drones. I'm sure we paid for that too. Today, the general staff also reported a strike on a warehouse, but it did not specify any means of destruction. There was 12 secondary explosions after detonation. That's, that's all they say they know. Are we over there for minerals? You know, is that why we're there? Is there something over there that we absolutely have to have? Wars and rumors, rumors of wars. It's all, a, you know, it's 1984. There's wars and nobody really knows why. And, and you know, and it's this, this constant war. The war machine's got to run. You know, the United States war machine's got to run. At the same time, we're decommissioning warships faster than we're building them. The Air Force is like 38% ready at any given time. I did a story with that the other day. Maybe that's not the right number, but it's close. Uh, it's, it's just backwards from everything we should be doing. It's, it's every day's opposite day, you know? If you're not preparing, I don't know, I don't know why. It's really strange to me, people that just, just meander through life and just think everything's going to be all right and trust in the Lord, you know? And I, I agree, trust in the Lord, but Proverbs 27, 12. Uh, yeah, be prudent. The prudent see danger and take refuge. And the simple keep going and pay the price. What would be wrong with having a month's worth of food and then turning that into two and being able to stay at your house for six months? Being able to filter water. You know, just normal stuff. Have the tools you need. You're going to need them anyway. You think they're going to go down? Do you think freedom seeds are going to go down? What about precious metals? Oil. What else? Just think, fuel, filters, uh, things from China that you have that takes a certain part that you know you're going to need. Things like that. When you see something like that, say, yeah, I use about two or three of those a year. Might as well get 10, 12, you know, maybe more, whatever it is. Use your own discretion. I'm bad about getting likes. You know, the end of the world's coming, chicken little, blah, blah, blah. I don't know. I just know it's a win-win. You have it in case you need it. You're going to use it anyway. The prices are not going to go down. And, well, it depends. Some prices will go down. The used car values are going down right now. Just be, be careful. Be prudent. Be prepared. Uh, this is a, a pretty good warning for me. You know, we're sending missiles to Russia for Pete's sake. I'm sorry, we're sending missiles to Ukraine and they're sending them to Russia and Russia's saying, hey, I'm, I'm going to lob nukes. If you're going to lob conventional weapons, I'm going to lob nukes. That's what he said. So that if Russia threw a bottle rocket over here and it hit the ground, what do you think the price of everything that I've talked about would do? It's kind of the way I look at it. You know it's going to happen. Eventually, Eventually, something like this will happen. There'll be a black swan, and the commodity bull market will be seen by everybody. It'll be like, wow, going straight up. In the meantime, guys, have an awesome, awesome day. I'll see you in the next one. Get in the comments for me. Let me know where, what, what you think's happening, what, what's really going on. Later. Thank you.